We are here in Hamilton, Ontario at two of our current legal second suite conversion projects. Today, we are bringing in the experts to teach us, train us, and show us the best ways of soundproofing these homes. Here we have on the court two 1950s bungalows across the street from each other. The exact same construction, exact same floor plans, but two different ways of soundproofing. Let's go check it out. We're using Sonopan to see if we can enhance the sound separation in our units compared to what we typically do, which is just single layer 5 8 drywall on the ceiling. The Sonopan has over 17,000 impressions of different sizes, and this is what absorbs a wide range of sound frequencies. It kind of works like an egg carton, and when people used to put those up on the wall in the, uh, in the 70s and 80s for band practice, it's the same idea to absorb those different frequencies. We're using Sonopan right up on the joist, our resilient channel, and then one layer a 5 8 Type X drywall to complete our fire rated ceiling assembly and meet minimum sound rating of STC 50 and meet our fire rating. So that assembly working together is what stops sound. But what about all the walking noises that happen upstairs from people stomping up and down, kids running? So what you want to do is create a barrier. This is Sono Base, for example. And what this does is it goes over your existing subfloor and then you put your floating flooring on top. Decouple that impact noise so it's chairs moving, people stomping around, whatever it may be. We get the common complaints a lot, especially in rental properties that are upper lower like this. And then we have our second assembly. It's a double 5 8 with green glue assembly. Two layers of 5 8 drywall with a green glue acoustical compound in between the layers. We had a resilient channel and sound insulation in the joist cavity. STC, which is sound transmission class rating, how sound travels through an assembly, the transmission of sound through an assembly. In a dwelling unit, we have to have STC 50. And so 50 is the decibel level that we need to meet. The assembly has to stop 50 decibels of sound from coming through. Noah is our expert sound engineer. He's gonna be completing the testing data for us. So Noah, please explain to us how we test for these different noise transfer issues. All right, thanks for having me here, Ken. To put it briefly, we're testing for two things here. One is airborne noise transfer between the two units here, as well as impact noise. So for the airborne, we're gonna be placing a speaker in the basement here, and then taking sound level measurements with our tools, both in the basement as well as upstairs. That will give us an indication of how much noise is actually reduced through the assembly that we have here. For the impact test, we're having a tool upstairs, which is called a tapping machine. I actually had a complaint once from a tenant about intimate noises coming from the upper <laughs> unit. So it's really important that we get this right and that we solve these sound transfer issues. Oh, so this is the heavy impact noise making machine. Yeah. Noah, what do we call this thing? It's called a tapping machine. So it's a machine that taps. <laughs> tap, 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 all right. One direction, perpendicular, diagonal, or wood frame construction like we have here, depending on the direction of the joist, it can actually affect the result. So we want to actually capture different directions to really get a good sense of the performance. All right, I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy. first assembly, which was the assembly that incorporated a layer of Sonopan. And then we have our second assembly, which was a double 5 8 with green glue assembly. One layer of 5 8 drywall assembly, which is our bare minimum code, we were getting STC readings of 38. So it was only blocking 38 decibels of noise. That's why we get noise complaints. And it's still allowing a lot of noise to come through. What our company is choosing to do is using Sonopan. The Sonopan should be much easier for the guys installing because it's a very lightweight fiber board that's being installed. If you've ever dealt with green glue before, it's a really sticky acoustical compound. It can get everywhere, it can get on your hands. Cost difference really comes on the labor. So we're saving on labor and labor is ultimately a bigger component of construction costs than material itself. Long story short guys, if you want to mitigate those noise complaints, 
tenant turnover because of noise, you gotta be switching over to Sonopan. Get it in, get it installed, and make your life easier. Thanks guys for watching this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.